Although they'll try to say, oh, we have a closed border. No, you're letting 4,500 a day on average expect the value of the dollar to remain strong. It, it won't. You call me what you want, it's been said before. So I got a little pissed off back there. I think rightly so. Um, there's a time for righteous anger. And let's forget Democrat, let's forget Republican for a minute. Guys, most of you know what's true. Most of you guys know what, uh, what transcendental uh, moral truths are, uh, whether you'll admit it or not. There's that still small voice within you that says this is the way, walk in it. Regardless of what your friends say, regardless of how your emotions pull you into self-destructive behaviors in your personal life, you kind of know when something is good for you or something is bad for you. Right now, the policies being instituted, the policies being shoved down our throats from the progressive left are only there to weaken America. They are weakening America. Let's talk immigration for a second. You think that what they're doing right now at the border is about pity, about compassion? Sure, that's what they say. That's what the uh, Washington Post, New York Times, the Daily Beast, all the powers that be right now in our media are gonna say, well, it's, you know, uh, Joe Biden is the kind president, right? Although they'll try to say, oh, we have a closed border. No, you're letting 4,500 a day on average mostly kids cross the border as the anchor point for their parents to then come over because they know that that's uh, what's gonna happen. Joe Biden and his administration and the uh, global powers pulling their strings, they want that. They want a weakened America. We are looking at grim new records at the southern border. Border officials encountering 172,000 migrants at the border in March, a 71% increase from February. Of those, nearly 19,000 were unaccompanied children, which is a new, would be a new record. I mean, 10 years ago, to say that, okay, there's this pandemic and every country has to kind of figure this out and it's, it's really uh, awful, people are dying from it and we're going to lock down our own citizens and lock down businesses and, and, and institute mask policies and all that. It's just dishonest. You cannot hurt the American people on one hand due to the supposed great danger from COVID-19 and then call massive surges of illegal, untested immigrants compassionate on the other hand. But it's more than just a national health issue. Everyone who understands the border are nearly all claiming that Trump's migrant protection policies prior to Biden were working and they were working well. Human trafficking is on the rise, among other things. Okay, uh, one last question for you, sir. Sure. How might what's going on at the border right now affect our attempts here on this side of the border to combat human trafficking? So everything that you're, you're seeing now is money in the pockets for the cartels. Anything that goes across the southwestern border uh, that's illegal, be it cash from drug proceeds, narcotics, weapons, people, um, uh, people for sex trades, people for labor uh, things, um, that it goes to the cartel. But yet you're letting in that many foreign people and then giving them our taxpayer dollars, right? They're getting this, a lot of the stimulus is going to foreign aid, but not even foreign aid, illegal, to break our laws, come into the country, then we're going to pay our tax dollars. A new report from the Washington Post says that the Biden administration is spending at least $60 million, $60 million per week to house migrant minors. You know who the big boogeyman is too? The conservative working man who's been out there busting his ass, trying to provide, and he's paid his dues, but he's told he's a racist if he doesn't agree with these upside down policies. It's not compassionate. What does that do? Well, that decreases the value of being a law-abiding citizen. It decreases uh, the value of our dollar. You cannot throw millions and billions and even trillions if the Green New Deal happens. You cannot, uh, you cannot throw out money like that and expect the value of the dollar to remain strong. It, it won't, nor do they want it to. That's the big game, okay? If you study the roots of Marxism, the roots of communism and what they really want. And, and to this day, what, what the powers that be, the globalist powers know, much like John the Baptist said, I must become less so that he can become greater. America, the, the last free bastion in this world that we have, um, it must become less so the globalists can become greater. The UN, they are not, they are no friend of America. They, they, need, they need America, they need us to change. That's why Barack Obama said, I'm gonna fundamentally transform the United States of America to cheers of American citizens who don't know any better. We are five days away from fundamentally transforming the United States of America. This cancel culture we're seeing that is completely communistic, 
uh, the, the disallowing of inter, any other ideas, calling them dangerous. Well, that's happened before. It's happened in uh, Nazi Germany when the National Socialists, the National Socialists Party of Germany rose to power with Hitler at the helm. They wanted to cancel any dissenters. It happened in Stalin's Red Russia. It happened in the Soviet Union. And now we're seeing it here. There's a time where if you stand together, you say no more. I will not live by the nonsense. I am not going to call Dr. Rachel whoever a woman. I'm not gonna call him a she. Because guess what? Your kids see that. Your kids see that you're lying. You're calling a dude with broad shoulders and a penis that has a wig on. Maybe, maybe he cut the penis off. You're calling him a woman to save your own skin. Not because you're compassionate, maybe a little bit because you're polite, but that politeness is so misdirected. I'll be called a hater for this. You call me what you want, it's been said before. So how do we fight? Well, we've got a window of time. We have a window of time. And if you white businessmen and you black conservatives, uh, Christian believing conservatives, and even you liberals, traditional liberals in the classical sense, classical liberals that believe in freedom of speech and thought would stand together, would stand together. You've got a chance. You've got a chance. Now is our chance, now. If we join, we can win. If we win, well then we'll have what none of us have ever had before. A country of our own. Light us. Unite us. Unite the clans. You know, Jesus said to turn the other cheek. He didn't say lay down and get kicked in the teeth until you're a bleeding and bloody splatter on the ground. White Christian conservative, black conservative, who I have a ton of respect for because you guys stand so strong. Don't let up, get louder, don't live by lies.